Okay. Thanks, everybody, for coming. For the past 10 months, South Australian Police, through the Drug and Organised Crime Task Force, have been targeting the alleged trafficking activities of a 31-year-old male from Beverly. Early in August this year, a package containing, it is alleged to be 5.28 kilograms of MDMA, also known as ecstasy, was detected at the Australian border by Australian Border Force. With the assistance of uh, Australian Border Force and the, the Australian Federal Police, SAPOL was able to get hold of a, the package and we were able to send that through the post. Yesterday, the package was delivered and picked up allegedly by a 31-year-old male from Beverley and a 22-year-old male from St Clair. They were subsequently arrested down at Findon. As a result, seven premises were then searched and a significant amount of drugs and other equipment used in the manufacture and trafficking of MDMA was located. Significantly in the searches, we located two pill presses, a cement mixer, which we will allege is used for the manufacture of the pills and the mixing of the chemicals, the pill presses, and also it was found at an address alleged $290,000 cash, which we will allege is the result of money laundering being involved in the trafficking of illicit substances. As a result, the 31-year-old male and the 22-year-old male have been arrested for trafficking a large commercial quantity of a controlled drug. The older male has also been charged with money laundering. As a result of searching the premises, today we have found two clan labs which are being processed. Further items of interest have been located, including other illicit substances. We anticipate that other charges will be laid as a result of the fines today. As a result, the 31-year-old male will appear in the Adelaide Magistrates Court today, and the 22-year-old male was bailed to appear in court in September. Once again, it shows how people are willing to put the community at risk by importing illicit substances through the post and to sell them on the streets. We are happy to work in conjunction with the ABF and AFP to make our community safer and to take these illicit substances off the street. We will allege that the 31-year-old male was trafficking the MDMA through the postal system around to other addresses within Australia. We will also allege that the MDMA was imported from overseas and we believe that this has been an ongoing operation for a number of years. We estimate the street value of the 5.28 kilograms of MDMA if made into capsules or tablets would be over $2 million. This is extremely satisfying to be able to take this amount of drugs off the street and to also have people that will put the community at risk to face court. The penalties for such an offence are up to life imprisonment or $500,000 fine. We will certainly be looking at his assets and where appropriate we will be making application to seize them. We will also be making an application to seize the money here today. So I'll ask uh, Matt to step forward and make comment. As uh, my colleague from South Australia Police has said, this is a significant detection of MDMA of over five kilos of, of uh, illicit substances. It represents 105,000 hits, uh, tabs, that have been kept off the street of Adelaide worth over $2 million. That keeps the Australian community safe from the, the ravages of illicit substances. The operation began from our part on the 6th of August when Australian Border Force officers at the Sydney Gateway facility at Clyde uh, intercepted a package from Germany 
that was examined and selected for examination. That examine, examination re revealed the concealment of the illicit substances with a total weight of 5.28 kilos. Through the collaboration we have with other law enforcement partners, being the AFP and state law enforcement office, uh, agencies such as South, South Australia Police, we were able to refer that package to them to assist in their investigations that have today resulted in the arrests, the identification of clan labs and uh, the, uh, the other items of interest, including the cash. That has disrupted a syndicate working here in Adelaide. Um, so it's a significant detection and uh, I ask any questions. Yeah. So how prevalent um, is the importation of of illicit drugs within our borders um, in terms of from Germany? Is it, is it generally um, more sort of Asian countries or is it a widespread? Um... Australian Border Force examines over one million packages um, per week in the international environment, uh, through the mail environment. We make over 90 detections per day uh, through mail exchanges. Uh, so significant but ongoing. It means we have to have targeting uh, processes in place to identify the, the items of interest to us as they come across the border. We have those. We have highly trained people at our borders. We have capability in the, in the form of x-rays and trace detection technology and detector dogs that we use to select and identify those illicit substances. What, what was it concealed in? The, the, this particular consignment was, uh, was uh, concealed in a stock, stock pot, like a cooking pot. Yeah. And so when you say pipe facility, it's a mail centre? The Clyde, you said the Sydney Gateway facility at Clyde. Yes. That's that just the mail centre, is it? Yeah, so approximately 80% of all arriving international mail comes through what they call the Australia Post uh, Sydney Gateway Facility. It's cleared at that point and then at the domestic level <laughs> Australia Post deliver it. Yeah. Um, where's the other the train When was the one at Winfield um, uh, found? That was located last night in the initial searches. There was also one located at a uh, premises at Hendon and um, that has already been uh, processed. Uh, significantly, what we found was two pill presses. Um, one was hand uh, operated and the other one was electric. And also the cement mixer, which is a portable cement mixer, which was being used to mix the powders. So we will allege that that certainly shows an ongoing production and uh, trafficking of MDMA, especially MDMA is often goes into nightclubs and people will use it within the nightclub environment. So it is certainly we've seen the results of people overdosing, so it's obviously a safe cons safety concern having this product out on the streets and to take such a large amount out before it hits the community, not only within South Australia but the rest of Australia, is uh, very pleasing. We will allege that uh, they are uh, linked to the uh, Wingfield and with ongoing investigations in respect to the one at Hendon. Any connections to uh, the side of the game or anything like that? They are not at this stage, no. Do you expect to make any more arrests? We are still looking at We expect uh, further charges to be laid. Um, in respect to whether anybody else will be charged, uh, it's too early to uh, determine. Uh, but it's part of an ongoing investigation. And, and this has been a long-term investigation by SAPOL. And working with the Australian Border Force, we're able to target certain uh, packages coming through the postal stream. And uh, once that was identified, we were certainly able to act appropriately and uh, move quickly upon uh, uh, making the arrests. Um, that, that will be part of our ongoing investigations. And bear in mind that MDMA uh, across Europe, uh, manufacturers across Europe, so uh, we will work with uh, ABF and also AFP to determine if we can find the source of where uh, the MDMA came. Cash found at Wingfield? No, it was found at another. Uh, yes, it was found at a different address at Wingfield. Not the No, that's correct. So there was a so Hendon, Wingfield, Shed, and then another place. There were seven premises searched last night. Oh, so there were seven. 
Yeah, and within that seven, one of those, we located the cache. And when you say for residence, you say homes, you said there was a shed? There was homes, sheds and um, the business. In terms of the Pell Press itself, how difficult are they to obtain? Would it be a matter of someone having a connection within the pharmaceutical industry or can you just import the machine from overseas? Or? I'll let Matt talk about that. <coughs> Criminal syndicates use criminal networks to, uh, to, to find things they need to, to undertake their duties. To import a pill press, um, legitimately, you need a permit. Um, in this case, there is no such permit. Sure. Good evening, everyone. Um, just one more question. When you say a business, would there be a business involved in the world? Uh, we will allege that the 31-year-old is a business, uh, businessman involved in a uh, business which he was operating and this uh, process was uh, operating on the side. What is um, I'm not going to say at this point in time. Uh, still got ongoing investigations, but uh, I believe that it, the business was uh, not at Wingfield but at another suburb. Just quickly on the shed at Wingfield, is this the second time that shed has been raided for a different matter? Not that I'm aware of. Thank you, everyone. Can I just clarify? I think I said 90 detections illicit drugs per day, I think it's per week. Per week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's nationally, that's through all streams. Yeah.